Aloha, what's happening? How are you? This is Hal Wilkerson with Hawaii Property Advisors. I hope this finds you doing well. And it is, can you believe it, Monday, April 5th, 2021. That Jimmy Buffett song was in my head this morning for some reason. Come Monday, it'll be all right. Come Monday, I'll be holding you tight. Okay, now that we got rid of the people that really don't want to be here. I know if you're still listening, you're still watching, you want to be here. But anyway, hey, listen, uh, my name is Hal Wilkerson. Thank you for joining us. This is the Hawaii Real Estate Roundup. Uh, I do this show every day, six days a week, except for Sundays, although I did miss Saturday. First Saturday I've missed in over a month. Uh, actually, I think I've been doing this for about six weeks now. But um, at any rate, my goal is to do it every six, every day except for Sundays. But um, at any rate, what we do, if you're watching this show on a regular basis, I review the daily hot sheets, basically all of the properties that are brand new to market for that day. We start at the top of the single family home and we go high and then the median price or the average and then we go down to the low. So you get an idea of what the market is looking like. If you watch this show more than one day or on a regular basis, you will actually learn a pretty good idea of what the market is doing here. After we spend about the first 10 minutes or so doing the single family homes, we'll actually get to the condominiums and townhomes and high rises. And so we'll do that category for the second 10 minutes. So, you know, the first half single family, second half uh, condos, townhomes, high rises, and it really helps you to see a good uh, example or a good trend, if you will, of what's happening in the Hawaii real estate market. And that's that. So, hey, thank you for all my subscribers. It seems like we're growing more and more every day. So thank you for watching. And um, with that, why don't we go ahead and jump right into today's listings. All right, top of the stack, we've got a two bedroom, one and a half bath, small little single family in Sunset, which by the way, that's where I pulled this photo. This is up on the North Shore. I couldn't resist. This is the top of it right here. So um, just so you know, I'm going to start maybe doing that because, you know, there's some pretty cool pictures in some of these listings, especially the, the high maka maka ones, as we say in Hawaii. And so uh, I'm going to pull that out of there, pull, start pulling those out of here. But at any rate, we're looking at a list price of $4.95 million. It's not really a big house. We're talking about uh, a 400 square foot lanai, a 700 and something square foot living space for a total of 1184. That's kind of redonkulous. That's like bigger than New York prices. In fact, let's see what that plays out as a uh, as a per dollar uh, uh, square foot price. 49.50 divided by 11.84. That's going to be 4100 dollars a square foot for this little guy. Now. Obviously, it's a more of a land play. You're looking at 6,740 square feet of land, but even that's not a huge, not a huge uh, piece of chunk of land. But when you're looking at views like this on the north shore of Oahu, mm, hard to beat. All right, let's take a look. Nice wood structure. You know, it's got it's got good bones. I mean, it's this is a beach house of beach houses. I mean, there you go. That looks familiar such a nice beach there sunset <clears throat> nice and sandy it's a little you know you're not having to deal with seawalls there like you get over in Lanikai y you know you got plenty of sand you're not gonna really have to worry about like some of the stretches up on the North Shore um, the ocean is incurring in, 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 including including incurring what's the word I'm looking for uh, basically it's coming up onto the onto the grass of these folks yards and so that doesn't look like that's going to be an issue anytime soon it's fascinating to see how the the sands of time change but there you go nice drone shot from offshore it's got a little notch in that little poo in the back there I mean just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I am curious as to see I mean, again, this is not about the house. This is about the location. But I am curious to see where actually this is. So here you go, the little driveway entry there, your little gar uh, your little uh, drive-in drive uh, carport there. There's going to be your back lanai. 
small little yard, a little walk around. It wouldn't surprise me if there's a freshwater shower built onto the side of the house here, as that's what any good beach house is going to do. The bonsai pipeline. Yeah, this is a surf house extraordinaire right here. Looks like they've got a little patio out there for sitting out there and watching the surf. Just amazing. And obviously sunsets probably every day. That's Kaina Point over there. That's the northwestern corner of Oahu, for those that are concerned or curious. And that's looking more to the south and to the, to the east. So, yeah, beautiful piece. Let's take a look and see where this little K Nui Road is. <clears throat> right down from the Billabong Professional Surfer House. So that tells you a little bit there. Pupukea, Waimea. Yeah, I mean, you're... Man, I didn't realize that the sand was so broad there. This is three tables right here. Uh, actually, excuse me. I think that's three tables. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I misspoke. This is three tables. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I got a buddy that lives across the street from there. What's up, Sam? Uh, yeah, wow. Oh, that's great. So you're, you're really going to be close because you got food land right here. So, I mean, it's pretty much, you know, you got grocery, you got the bonsai pipeline, you got the, you know, I mean, it, that's a, that's going to be an excellent surf shop. I am not a surfer, by the way, haven't been asked that question in a while, but I am not a surfer. Uh, I do stand up paddleboard, but uh, I don't, I'm not a surfer. And um, maybe I'll maybe I'll learn how to surf on. I have actually caught some waves. I've, I have caught waves, but there's a long, big difference between catching some waves and just calling yourself a surfer. I ain't gonna call myself a surfer, just FYI. But anyway, I digress. So that's uh, that's where we're looking. Five million dollars right there, beachfront. That's that's a pretty uh, it's a nice house. You're paying for the you're paying for the land there. Um, they tried to sell it in 18 for 8 million then they dropped it and they took it off the market that's just a little a little bit high and there hasn't really been much uh action on it other than that it came on the market for the first time in 2016 and expired in 2017 so you know they may be reaching a little bit um i could do a little research project and figure out they bought it in well, it recorded in 09 for 1.4 million, um, but we don't, there's very likely that they paid less than that back when that first came on and it conveyed initially in 1988. So um, there's an interesting story to the history of recordings of property and what actually pulls into the MLS. Um, if we were at the courthouse, Honolulu City and County Courthouse, at the land uh, conveyances office. They do have a lot of files there where you can go in, but everything in only the stuff pretty much in recent history, i.e. the last 30 years when sort of the personal computer became, uh, or the desktop computer rather in the 80s and 90s sort of became a mainstay of you know business technology did they start having that information available. So. Uh, sometimes with a property like this, I mean, they conveyed a warranty deed of $1.4 million in 1989. I'm very sure they, they pay, paid much less than that a long time ago. So anyway, they got a lot, of, a lot of equity in this house. They're trying to throw it out there with this hot, hot market. And um, you never know. It could be picked up pretty quickly at that price, $4.95 million. So anyway, a lot of information there. My apologies for the delay. Okay, let's keep cruising. Okay, so let's go down to the middle of the stack. Kulio O Road um, is going to be just under or ha ha o -e -ne lower. Yeah, what do you guys want to do? Four bedroom, two bath, or for nine nine five, or a three bedroom, two bath for one point one. Let's go on the lower one. Okay, so this is going to be kind of Nui Valley. Um, uh, yeah, I mean Nui Valley is sort of in between, sort of Kahala and Hawaii Kai. It's about the best way to say it. Um, newly upgraded home in Kulilau, 
Kaliwao, Kaliwao, say that five times fast. It's property beams with pride of ownership. Enjoy cool breezes on your covered patio, taking in the mountain view. An owned PV system and solar water system make electric bills a joy to pay. <laughs> that's not something you hear every day. My electric bill is a joy to pay. I've never heard any bill that's actually a joy to pay, but at any rate. 2021 renovations include new bathrooms, fresh exterior and interior paint, and popcorn ceiling removed and painted vacant and easy to see. Uh, 2,000 square foot house on a 5,500 square foot lot. Well, let's take a look. I have a carport with a decent little yard. Almost like a little entry here and a little side, not really a side yard, but sort of a side lanai there. Got your solar hot water heaters there. The rear of the home, got your jalousies. Looks like a relatively new roof. Yards, I mean, it's clean, you know, it's well, well taken care of yard. Covered patio on the Malka side of the home, Makai side yard. Uh, Makai, as a reminder, is the uh, water side. Malka is the mountain side. There's the entry. Living room, family room. There's your kitchen there. Your Samsung appliances. Breakfast nook right off the kitchen. Guest bathroom and laundry room. There's your laundry room. Another bathroom, the master bedroom, master bath. Ooh, looks like only one vanity in the master bath. Room for another one, though. Maybe. Well, I don't know. It might be a little bit tight. Hard to say. <clears throat> okay. That's the middle of the stack. And that's, I'll show you kind of where this is. Again, like I said, it's sort of in, in between Kahala and Hawaii Kai. Yeah, way back in that valley. So this is Hawaii Kai. This is kind of, well, Kahala is actually more over here. So yeah, actually, technically, yeah. Aina Haina and uh, Nui Valley is going to be kind of the next two little guys there. And then you got Kuliuau. And there's a ridge trail up there that I've never been to, but looks kind of cool. What do we have here? Let's, let's take a quick little excursion. Oh, let's see. You know what? I think I may have actually been up this ridge trail before. Maybe, maybe not. There's a couple of them up there. They kind of all look alike. Yeah. There you go. But that's what it looks like kind of up at the top of that valley if you're looking back towards beautiful Honolulu. And from way up there, that's the backside of Diamond Head over there. And then this is the uh, kind of Aina Haina over here. This is going to be kind of Kahala over here. And there you go. That's a good idea of what those. Once you get up there, oh, it's so nice. If you if you close your eyes, you can just hear the wind blowing through those those uh, Franklin trees or Frasers or whatever they're called. Um, oh, it's just it's just like. And you're way up there, away from all the city and street noise. It's really nice. I mean, the hikes up above Honolulu are really cool. And you got some good views down in the valley there. Don't jump, don't jump. And there's local clubs, too, that kind of keep up the uh, trails. If you come out here and you like to hike, there's lots of little uh, clubs. In fact, a lot of times each individual valley, depending, I mean, there's not a lot of them, but a handful of them will just have like a little, a little club uh, a little hui, as they're called, where they will um, uh, they'll they'll maintain their individual trail because that's kind of their neighborhood, you know. So, but anywho, that's something different for you there. Um, a little uh, a little offshoot of our excuse me, our offshoot of our regular Hawaii real estate roundup. Um, let's cruise and continue. So single family. Uh, let's go to the bottom. We got a coming soon in Hawakale, and then we've got a five hundred thousand dollar three bedroom, one and a half bath in Iea. 
Let's see what we've got here. Built in 68, doesn't say it's been remodeled. Convenient location next to H1. This one is probably, uh, probably a release found on some of the most recent cash offers required. Okay, so I think this is a teardown. This is a this is going to be a land grab teardown investor play. I mean, you got boarded up windows, five hundred thousand dollars. Let's look. Let's take a look and see here in a minute where it is. Yeah, I mean, this was uh, probably an abandoned piece of property here. So. You know, got some gang graffiti in there. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, it's just tear down. It's not even really worth it to look at the pictures here. Um, but let's see where it is. There's your air conditioner. Um, an IAEA. It says it's close to... Um, close to the H1. Olopana Street. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. So this is, is this Halaba offshoot? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually, uh, yeah, right by the stadium. I mean, it's a pretty good location as far as locations go. I mean, as far as like where you're going to be. Oh, look at that. It's kind of tucked back there in the corner. Hmm. So you're probably on the backside of this. You're going to have some noise from the freeway. Um, I'm trying to remember in this spot, let's see what the elevation looks like in the freeway so you can get a sense of what we're looking Yeah, okay. So you may not actually have much freeway noise because you're gonna be behind that, that wall. So it's probably up there. I mean, you may hear a little bit, but a lot less than what you could, like there are some spots when it's in town. Um, so yeah, could be a nice little investor play. I mean, you spend 500K on the land, you know, build, uh, you know, spend 300, 400K on a house, you know, you're, uh, you could probably, you, you can, you can make some, perhaps make some money. That land might be a little bit overpriced, uh, 3,500 square feet for 500,000. I mean, you know, but you'd have to do the numbers. Well, it's 142 a square foot for the land in a strategic location. Definitely could work. Definitely could work. So anyway, okay, let's uh, let's keep cruising. We are currently at 17 minutes. Let's go ahead and jump into our condos, and we'll wrap up with the condos. Wow, a lot of condos. 28, 28 new condos on the on the market today. Um, condo market is um, yeah. This is a lot of tail. I mean, I haven't seen like over 20 in quite a few days actually. So this is a, a lot here for this month. So let's look at the top. 1555 Kapiolani Boulevard. This is going to be in the one Alamoana building. This is unit number 1010. It's going to be an 1100 square foot. Doesn't have a lanai. 1100 square foot, two bedroom, two bath, two parking condo. Real quick, let's see what the numbers are. 1500 $1,564 on your monthly HOA fees. That is including cable TV, gas, hot water, internet, other common expenses, and sewer. It does not include electricity. Looking right above the Alamoana Mall. That's the, that's the old Macy's. Oh, is this not? Wait a second here. Oh, yeah. This is that new building back there. It's on top of, I think this is on top of Nordstrom's. Yeah, one Alamoana place. This is that new one that they built on top of the Nordstrom parking lot. So you're basically living at the mall um, because right below this is the Nordstrom either right connected to it or the, the, the parking structure for Nordstrom. So anyway, so built in 2014. So, I mean, it's a relatively new, new property. Got plank flooring, got some carpet in the master. Looks like a white quartz countertop with some tile backsplash, nice modern cabinetry, views. Okay, what is that right there? What is that roof? I mean, I know you're looking towards the mountains here. I'm just trying to figure out. I mean, but again, you're right there off of Kapiolani. I mean, you're just three, four blocks down from Waikiki. I mean, if you're backside, I mean, really, yeah on the Kalakaua side, um, you know, on the entrance to Waikiki. 
it's a pretty it's a good location you got a window in your bathtub there it's always fun N nice I like those cabinets those are pretty fancy pulls they've got here yeah so there you can see that's like a pedestrian walkway into it. I guess they built, I've never, I haven't been back there. This is the, uh, um, I forget the name of it. What is the name of that building? But small little fact, this is actually where you take your real estate license exam in this little building right here off of Ala Moana. And uh, if you're going to get your real estate license in Hawaii, here's a little parking hack trip where it tells you to go is downstairs on the first floor of there but um they charge like ten dollars to park down there but if you come up here on top of the alamoana it's free you can go in that building without having to pay for parking just fyi if you know you know it's all about avoiding the parking costs in, in waikiki or in, in in honolulu look at that beautiful view i think that's looking i think that's manoa hard to hard to know exactly this is the old don quixote's right here Kalakaua is going to be over there. Yeah, actually where these green trees are, I think that's going to be Kalakaua, which runs down into Waikiki there. Nice pool. Nice little common areas. And this was the top, right? 1.5 or so. Probably more common areas. Oh, they got a little golf. Oh, that's fun. I'd be, I love those, those machines more common areas. Yeah, that's a, that's one of the greatest parts about these new condos, these new high-rise condos, is they just have amenities for days. And again, yeah, nice outdoor spaces there. So great. Nice one, nice one. 1 1.29. Okay, so decent price there in the one Ala Moana Center. That's actually the first one I've reviewed in that particular building. So pretty cool. Um, let's see, where are we going next? So that's the top. Let's go to the middle. So numbers aren't out for March yet, but I'm guessing they're probably going to be a little bit higher than they were. Let's go to uh, St. Louis Heights off of Wyalai, or actually not St. Louis Heights, but oh, Regency Park. Let's go to the Regency Park. You know what? I haven't done one in Ko'olina in a while. This is actually a two-bedroom, two-bath in Ko'olina. It's 847 square foot. They're asking 588 for this one. This is going to be in the fairways, which is a beautiful, a beautiful location. I really like that condo area there. It's more like a townhome. 568 is your, going to be your monthly fee. It's going to cover cable TV and sewer and water. Not going to cover electricity, but still. Uh, it's a corner and end units. Built in 95, doesn't say it's been remodeled, 900 square feet total. Uh, it's got a small lanai. Some of them have bigger lanais than others. Split ACs in the Ko'olina fairways here. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So a two-bedroom, uh, two make sure I'm saying that right. Yep, two-bedroom, two-bath, two-parking with a garage. Looks like it's going to be the top unit. Okay, so, yep, there's walk-ups over there. Trading at 588, you can get into Quotalina for a good price. This is actually uh, not a bad deal. You're under that $600,000 threshold. It's gonna be almost 1,000 square feet, just under 1,000 square foot. Washer and dryer in your unit. I mean, you're gonna be a golf cart drive away from the world famous beaches of Ko'olina. And it's such a nice, very walkable, bikeable community. Ko'olina is, it's primo. It's got a gate, uh, although technically, you know, they don't have a gate, really any security uh, and the gate to speak of because they have to let people in to go to the beach. But it's a very nice, it's a nice community. So, I mean, that's a pretty, that's a pretty low price of entry actually. I think this one will get snatched up pretty quick. My guess, you're going to see a military buyer is going to jump on this one. 588, two bedroom, two bath, with a garage. Yeah, there you go. 
interesting. It's an external staircase, not an internal staircase there. And that is a corner unit there. So let's see what else we got. Oh, and I think you can do solar on this community. Some of those, Colina, yeah, you're, so you're way out at the end, actually. You know what? I just reviewed one of these the other week, I think. Um, yeah, but you can see that a couple of these have solar, so there's a very good chance you would probably be able to put solar on your unit because you don't have a shared roof, um, which is nice. I just played Coolina not too long, a few weeks back, actually, which was pretty cool. There's your pool, there's your jacuzzi, probably a little clubhouse there. And there's your there's your there's your home down at the end down there. So nice. Coalina Fairways. That is the middle of the stack for condos today. And let's bring us home out at Punch Bowl off of Thurston. We got a little leasehold studio, one bath in Thurston, on Thurston Avenue, this is gonna be Makikilani Plaza, Makikilani Plaza. $70,000 is what they're asking for. Fabulous view, close to downtown, bus stop in front of the unit, pet, pet friendly unit, stack washer and dryer, newer vinyl flooring, excellent condition, pool and deck area. Okay, it's got a tenant in it at the moment. $443 for your monthly fees. Your leasehold is gonna be 274. You're looking at $700 or so, $700 and some change just to live here. Taxes will be around $82, but $70,000 price of entry. Lease expires ooh, in 29. Um, so there, you're not gonna have a lot of, I mean, you're looking at eight years left on this bad boy here, so. Um, gonna be interesting to see what they do with this building makikilani makikilani yeah you got views of diamond head you got views of town you can see waikiki down there yeah moana pacific yeah very nice okay so that's the bottom of the stack for the condos today so there we go folks i hope you have enjoyed today's hawaii real estate roundup once again my name is hal wilkerson with the hawaii property advisors Thank you always for watching us. I would love to have you join us on our Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash Hawaii Real Estate Roundup. We're a small but growing little hui of people interested in Hawaii property. Um, don't forget also, we'd love to have you visit hpahomes.com where you can find your dream home in paradise. We have thousands of high res photos and videos, virtual walkthroughs, interactive maps, saved searches, and more. Once again, Hal Wilkerson with Hawaii Property Advisors. Thank you for watching as always. Don't forget at Hawaii Property Advisors, we show you gorgeous homes and we give you good advice. And I will see you tomorrow. Aloha, take care.